Wow, my people, another big pot on the fire, guys. Yeah, so guys, welcome back to another episode, guys. We want to prepare a go see now. And as you can see, we have just put the pots on the fire empty pot. Empty pot. And we're going to be frying this melon. Melon is known as a goosey. Yeah, so that's what we want to do now. And we have dry fish. We have blended crayfish. I have periwinkle in the water. Yes, this is how the periwinkle looks. Yeah, this is what you see. Those that are asking what is periwinkle is a seafood. You understand just in form of snail but snails are bigger hello i have my stock fish yes guys with the goat's meat and also here here is the more guys hey how do you guys feel so now the pot is hot and we'll be frying the melon Frying the melon is just to give the melon soup one kind fine sweet taste. Put your melon inside the pot. You keep stirring the pot. As you're stirring it, it's also frying the melon. I love preparing my melon this way because <coughs> that's so that's good. Oh, it's choking us. I love preparing my melon this way because I, I it makes it rise more and also gives it one kind of wonderful taste that you'll be eating and licking your hand. So stirring it makes it not burn at the bottom of the pot. So I've just added water, you know now, you have to, you keep putting the water, the required quantity you want. See that, the more you're putting it, the more it's rising. So you see, add water. Allow that thing there you, you add in all what you want to add inside. Yeah, so now you can put all your seasonings. That's seasoning cube. Salt to taste. Then the pepper. Red fish. Yes. See periwinkle, guys. This periwinkle is very good for the body. For those who don't know it, try it. You will really like it.
and we have the dry fish yes yeah, so guys if you love this video don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to our channel tap the bell for notification of more videos the lady is giving you all the mende mende inside the pot yes while this now you allow everything steam also be adding sock fish Seem very well. So this particular one, we don't normally cover it because if you cover it, it will not be that thick. So we want it to be thick. And you know, this is hand peel original egusi. Yeah, guys, my soup is ready. The egusi soup is ready, guys. Come on. Oh my god, this is a large pot of soup. You know, now we're always giving you the liquids. Huh. Mm. Yummy. So, we're adding our leaf inside now. Yeah, why well, as well? Preparing that one, we have this already the momo soup, goat meat, odusa leaf, stock fish, stock fish, and ugu dry ugu already soaked. <laughs> if this is your first time in this channel, don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe to our channel. Tap the bell for notification of more videos. Here yeah, we are here. Yep, guys. Wait, wait, wait. It's back. Turn it to the side. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's iron. Ugu leaf. And we're also going to be putting the odusa leaf. Yeah, guys. Yummy, yummy. So, guys, I hope you learn how to prepare this this could be prepared for party you know even at home just like what we'll be doing now at home we are going to be dishing all this pots of soup large pot into the freezer yeah guys thank you for stopping by the channel don't forget to subscribe share yeah and also support our channel always So. Oh my god. Yes. Take a look at this. The soup is ready. So we dish it into our plates. Yeah guys, we're going to be dishing our food inside our plates. Yes, so guys, hey. 
Sắp tới cái được chưa? Bọn mình chỉ nhà đi Ờ... Hả? Thế ơi Bọn mình ring lại cho đi